welcome very much um, at this occasion. Um, a few, um, I want to open with a few, uh, a, a few observations ar around the, the moment of food we're, we're in, the food crisis, and then a few pr practical uh, notes about the day. Um, we have seen that in the past uh, few months, uh, following the Russian invasion in Ukraine, um, food has uh, rapidly become very uh, uh, politicized, also weaponized. Um, unfortunately, um, we have seen uh, cases where uh, uh, grain has been uh, uh, captured by Russian troops. Um, uh, combines, etc. There is, of course, the the huge blockade of the of the um, of the ports, and um, yeah, basically, um, although it is a shock, uh, it it uh, analytically, academically, it should also not come as a surprise because um, yeah, food has always been in human history a very political um, topic in many periods. Um, and maybe the, I think the past few decades of relative abundance, uh, a system on the food where the West uh, could basically um, be self-sufficient and in addition feed the world. Uh, this moment of abundance of food, at least uh, aside from the huge distribution issues and waste, yeah, which still left many people uh, hungry, but uh, theoretically everyone um, could, have sufficient food. Um, that moment is maybe was quite um, particular in the past decades, and um, and I think that caused that it it seemed um, uh, a quite purely economic, purely technocratic issue, uh, the distribution of food and debate. Um, yeah, focused mostly on sustain sustainability issues around food, yeah, and the geopolitical issues. Of it kind of merged fully to the to the background. Now we see that um, those geopolitical issues around food have have uh, resumed center stage, and um, they um, yeah they affect um, the the flows the private flows of food the, between countries. And they affect also the para institutional institutions. Uh, which have to deal with food, with food aid. They are also affected by uh, the geopolitical uh, fragmentation, which is currently ongoing. So um, we, I thought it is a, a good moment now uh, to, to, yeah, to look at those questions, at, at those questions of the, the looming food crisis, what it means, and also what it means long term for our uh, food system, uh, the resilience of the, our food system and um, how it is likely to unfold. So um, I, um, I hope we can have a very an open uh, discussion about this issue. Um, and sometimes you see that it, it, the debate has become uh, very polarized uh, in general around Ukraine, but also around food. Uh, really in uh, very much framed in, in East versus West, and the rest of the world is uh, a bit out of the picture. Um, so in this workshop, we, we hope to bring in, 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 in voices from different sides, on, uh, uh, presentations on, on, on Ukraine, presentations on Russia, also uh, the countries very much integrated in the, in the in, 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 in the economic flows and the political systems of Russia and Ukraine, so in Central Asia, in the Far East, um, looking at the, the influence and the, the changing power relations they are in, in the agri-food system, uh, with influence by Russia, the West and China, and um, also the Middle East, of course, um, and North Africa is a region which is very much affected currently by uh, the, the, the rising food prices and uh, the looming food crisis. So in the, especially in the panel, we have also um, uh, speakers uh, very much focused on, uh, on Egypt, on, 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 uh, on um, the Middle East. And um, we have a lot of, of colleagues 
um, here at the IHS and joining online from other parts of the world, from Asia. So I, I hope we can, uh, that helps us to go beyond the, 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 the limited focus East versus West and, and look at it in a, in a wider, um, in a wider picture, this whole food, uh, looming food crisis. And um, I hope very much also that we have a, a very constructive atmosphere uh, with respect for different uh, opinions where we can be critical, uh, obviously very critical about what's going on, the Russian aggression and the, the, the food, uh, the weaponization of food um, and the tragedy what's unfolding. Uh, but also critical of, of the role of the West at the same time, yeah, the role of the West are different actors that we can uh, be critical and uh, reflective and that we are respective of each other in, um, in, uh, in commenting and uh, discussion. So um, the discussion uh, practically all of the day will be live streamed. Um, only we decided after talks with um the organization with the speakers that the very last part of the uh last round table session uh that the last q a will be um not live streamed so we will in the last uh round table we the the all the pictures and the, by the speakers will be sent out there will be a couple of questions from the online audience and then to create um a more intimate uh, uh, sphere of exchange. Um, we um, we have that part uh, of line. Yeah. Then um, I'm um, um, very happy that um, all the guest speakers made it. Some with now in this current moment with affect um, airports and also sometimes faltering uh, train connections. Some. Uh, of us, like our first speaker, Mihai, uh, had uh, huge delays. So um, thank you uh, that you are here still, despite uh, huge delays. Um, and um, then, um, yeah, I hand it over to, uh, to Dom to chair the first session and invite uh, Mihai over.